Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I managed to handle the push notifications using React Native and uh, Expo SDK. So I'm just going to show you quickly the last time I've implemented the push notification by saving the token into Firebase and then from Postman I was able to send a push notification to my device. So like this. So yeah. Last time in the other video was like this, so I will save the push notification. But this time we're now going to handle the push notification into the app. So say for example that I'm just going to send hello world one two three, and I'm gonna send the push notification. I'm gonna click on it, and it will now direct me to this view, and it will display here. And for testing purpose, I also like uh, put uh, into this screen the links. Uh, I also like display what I receive from the push notifications. So say for example that my app is open and I just want to send another push notification. Let's change those numbers. So, so now it will direct me to the notification page. Uh, yeah, so zero zero zero, and on the links it will just display whatever I'm sending to the device. So it's really simple, like if you follow the documentation, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing much to add. But anyway, I just want to go through the code so I can show you how I've done it. So I was, as we said the last time in the other video, I can put the link on the bio so you can reference to the other video if you want to see how I implemented the push notification. Anyway, here I'm saving the token into my Firebase. Then uh, when I go to my notification screen, what I do is, no, it was on the links, yeah, it was on the links. So on the links, uh, I handle the notification here because I'm displaying what I receive here straight, uh, like straight away from the push notification. What I'm doing is like, this was already here, this was already here from the template, and yeah, I'm just getting the user ID and I'm sending the, the user to the notifications page and then I'm setting the state with the, not with the notification that I just received and then I'm saving the, no uh, the notification to Firebase. So the way I save it is here. So the way I structure the the database is I have my user, my user ID is here, and these are all my notification, and these are all my token, and this is my token. So you can see here, it's really simple. I'm saving all the push notification that I have, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like all you do, is you just handle the push notification here. I save it to Firebase, and then from the other page from the notification screen. Um, just getting what I saved in my path of the notification, obviously with the user UID of the user that is currently using the app, and I'm setting all the values into this array, and then I'm just like going through this array into this list, and the round, the picture is just like it's hard coded. And yeah, that's it. I'm just going through the birthday because I was thinking to do maybe, okay. Uh, wish happy birthday to Carl. So when you click on this, let me get the thing. So I was planning on the next video when you receive a push notification, so wish Happy birthday to Carl. You press on it and you will be able to see the Carl profile. But anyway, this is just like for the next videos and stuff. But yeah, this is how you handle the push notification. And yeah, all of it is handle the push notification, which is, wait, what is it? Uh, yeah, do you just say again? Yeah, when you register for push notification, you register this, you call this method and when the component mount 
it will subscribe to a notification and yeah all I'm doing I'm just sending the user to the notification screen I'm setting the state just to see the notification that I received this is just for testing and I'm saving my notification to Firebase and yeah and from notification I'm just going through all my uh, all my notification for a list and yeah that's it if you enjoy please like and, su and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much see you in the next one